Un po' come di style, manners, then the speech, then the supernatural. Harakdach donj zagwar, tigel zan, tulu, irkim sigwaitil, iersin tesai. I hope you understood what I said. Don't take it to the extreme. Don't overdo it and say, oh, and we will have to have a suit and a tie. How have your own style. I believe every person has his own style. Don't be stereotyped. All the men look like me, all the men look like Pastor Baggy. Have your own taste. But have good taste. And represent the, the kingdom. Amen? Amen? So these were the kingdom markers. And it has to do with shining. That's why they are, they are supernatural things. But they are also practical issues. Because non-believers don't understand the supernatural. Of course, if a miracle happens, they will see the miracle. But they can read our lives in many ways. They can read our culture, our mindset, our attitudes. They can also read when they visit our home. If it's total disorder, then we don't represent him very well. Our home is not always in total order. <laughs> so nobody, nobody is perfect, but we have to have that consciousness at least. Stay simple, be genuine. In our church, for example, when when to have guests, people prepare a lot uh, when they have guests. Big meals and three dishes. And and we have to tell them stay simple. Just a cup of coffee and a small cake, that's okay. Don't, don't overdo it. You're not the king of Mongolia. <laughs> so sometimes we think, oh, I have to live on a high level. No, just this. Be genuine, be true. Your self, your style. But present yourself well. Because that's, that's a good thing. As to weddings, for example, we close, we honor the couple who is married. There was a funeral, we close well to honor the person who died. It's normal. So, let's be normal. Some, sometimes Christians, they are so super spiritual. And some of them can even look strange. Like Amish people. Amish. Do you know what it is? No. Like Mormons. You see Mormon evangelists on the street, you know they are Mormons. They have blue suit, white like me, like a Mormon. One Jaya was concerned about me. Why do you have only white shirts? 
said to him, there is no reason, just me. I like white shirts. I'm French. Be France should say you. Be to go to France and to start again. Taro ko kisig. Jaya, uti mo yan na yan nagsig ni. All right. Let's move on. That's actually. So point number one, shine in Babylon. Nee, do it by Babylon. Kirste. How do we shine? Yach. Kingdom markers. Hanchin tim digliga ba gachras. How do they come? Yeah, tim tim digliga ya chusko. By walking. That's simple. Amen. Then back to Jeremiah. So verse four is about shining. I have sent you to Babylon. God didn't say, "I want you to shine." Би таныг тэнд гэрэлтэйд байгаасаа гэж хүсчихэн гээггүй. We say I sent you. Би таныг илгээсэн гэсэн. And then the spirit helps us to listen. Аа. Тэгэхээр сүнс биднэдтэй аа ингэсэн үг юм бэштэй гэж ойлгоход тусалж байна. We are not in exile. We are we have to represent him in Babylon. Аа. Бид чинь зөвлөгдөгсөд биш юм бэштэй бид нар чи гэрэлтгээд ирж байгаа хүмүүс. That's why we need the Holy Spirit. Тийм л учраас арим сүнс яг ийм байхад л тусалж. Because if God had to say put everything in the Bible, we will have 2000 volumes. Хэрэв бурхан бид нарт ойлгох гээд ингээ бүх юмыг ингээ задлаал болцоол ингээ тавиа дах юм бол мэдгүй бид нар одоо бүр юу гэсэн гачин жигтэй урт намтай болно. Just give the top of the iceberg and we have to look for the holy spirit to understand what is behind that. Тэгэхээр яг нөө мөсөн уулын орон шиг жижиг хэсгийг нь энэ дэр тавьчихж байгаа байхгүй. Тэнгүүд ариун сүнс бид нар тэр яроод байгаа томыг нь ойлгоход тусалдаг. So verse 4 is about shining. Тэгэхээр дөрөвдүгээр ирсэл бол Вавилонд гэрэлтэх тухай. Shining has to do with kingdom markers. Тэгэхээр гэрэлтэн гэдэг нь хаанчлын тэмдэглэгээ нүдтэй шүү толбоотой. Хаанчлын тэмдэглэгээ нь хамтын алхаанаас үүдтэй. Тэгээ бид нар гэрэлтгэд бүгд харна. Okay. Verse 5. За тавдгаар ишлэл. Build houses. Байшингууд барьж босгож амьдэр. And live in them. Амьдэр гэсэн бай. Build houses. байшингуудыг босгож and live in them. Тэгээ тэндээ амьдра. Plant gardens. Цэцэрлэгүүд тарьж and heed their produce. Тэгт хүнийг нь ид. I call it. За үүнийг би юу гэж хэлж байна вэ? Юу гэж нэрлсэн бэ гэхээр. I call it to maintain and grow in Babylon. Babylon the maintain which maintain. Um that the Babylon the at амьдрч за юу өс гэд ойлгоч Okay. Babylon does not have any right to be there. So God said, "I send you there." So, but he didn't tell me that he was sent. Everything I have built into you, bring it with you there. Tell him, Doctor Berson, what's the most important thing about this? And let it shine. Take it, give it. Now something can happen then. Did he tell you something about the person? In the course of time. At the time of the judgment. Instead of influencing Babylon, Babylon can influence us. Цаг хугацааны явцад бид нар Бавилонд нөлөөлөх байтал чинь Бавилон нөлөөлж болно шүү дээ. That's why God says maintain. Тийм л учраас бурхан юу гэж хэлсэн бэхэр байгаа юм а бүр ингэж хадгалж авч явж сур гэж байгаа байхгүй. Somebody said like this. It's a very good statement. Библийн Библиас авсан том хэлэл. It's easy to obtain, it's difficult to maintain. За Обтэйн гэж шоу да ахуг гэсэн үйдээ. За, олж ауххад амархан зай, олж авсна хадгалан гэдэг бол хэцүү гэж гэсэн ма. One thing is to be married, another one is to stay married. Дэхээр, гэрлэх гэдэг нэг үүр, гэрлсэн хивээрэй байна гэдэг бол, гэрлэлтэй авж ауна гэдэг чэ үүр шүү. One thing is to have a job, another one, another thing is to keep your job. Ажилтай болон гэдэг нэг зүйл бол, ажилтай хивээрэй байна гэдэг нь бас нэг үүр юм. And God knew that. Because he knew that Babylonian darkness is a force. It's not neutral. Тийм болохоор бурхан мэдээд байсан баггүй Бавилоны харанхуй гэдэг харанхуй гэдэг бол үнэхээр харанхуй юм а гэж. Read in the book that there were over 1000 temples in Babylon. Бавилонд тэр үедээ мянга гарын одоо 
Temple, at the Tohum Bet, the Western Gitchnam, there is only Simban. It's like Columbia, it's like the capital of Sri Lanka, Colombo, the Buddha's statues everywhere. Sir Sanki Nistel, there is a Hasago, Botin Sumer to almost every corner, Instead of giving money to help the poor, they build Buddha statues. So God knew. away from home. Instead of influencing, it will go the other way. That's, that's why he said, build houses and live in them. Plant gardens and eat from them. Somehow you have to maintain your territory. And grow your territory. That's why today in Israel, there is something called the settlements. Settlements. Settlements where they take new territory and build. Ah, new because, because for them is their land. Abraham. God gave it to Abraham. Belongs to Israel, not to the Palestinians. So Build on them. That's the same way we should live as Christians. Receive from God, maintain it. Consolidate it. Establish it. That the plants have good roots. That's very important. Otherwise, we receive and we lose. We have it for a while, then it's gone. We rejoice, then joy is gone. We are peace, then peace is gone. God wants us to maintain. It will be like your children learn to read. Next year they don't know how to read, they have to learn to read again. There are certain things I learned at university, I can still remember them. Even though it's 50 years ago. Something I still So God wants us to maintain and grow what he has given us. So I send you there. Carry what you have invested in you. Shine. Let people see. All this good kingdom. Every God has form inside of us. But then you have to maintain that. And grow it. All right. Are you getting this? So we have to maintain and grow in Babylon. Babylon Okay. Let's see this. So, how do we do that? The Bible helps us to understand what is there. Let's read Daniel 1, 1 to 4. You understand that we we go from Jeremiah 21, 29 to Daniel 1, back to Jeremiah, back to Daniel, back to Jeremiah, back to Daniel. Because these two stories are connected together. Je Jeremiah spoke about Babylon, Daniel was in Babylon. So when we read his life, we understand what God spoke about. So how do we maintain and grow in Babylon? Let me answer that question. By developing a stable life built on kingdom values. 
за ингэ чи хаанчлын үн цэн дээр байгуулагдсан тогтвортой амьдралыг хөгжүүлснээр ийм болно гэж so as we work with god за бид бурхантай алхаж байхад produces markers бурхан бидний бидний амьдрал дээр тэмдэглээнүүдийг бий уулгадаг he does that бурхан тэгдэг we do the walking he does that he does the marking тэмдэглэж идэг тэмдэглээ тэмдэг тавьж идэг we do the walking he does the marking тэгэхээр алхах бидний ажил бол тэмдэглэх нь түүний ажил байна that's the way we shine ингэж гэрэлтэй шүү за юу to maintain харин сахиж авч үлдэхэд we have to do something бид нар ямар нэг юм хийх хэрэгтэй we have to build values keep the values бид нар хаанчлын үн цэнээ бүр ингэж бат байгуулах хэрэгтэй and in this session and next session i will show you the values we have to maintain. Тэгэхээр бид нарын сахиж авч үлдэх ёстой хаанчлын үн цэнийг би энэ хичээл болоо дараагийн цаг дээр ярина. To shine we just have to walk. За гэрэлтгийн тулд бид нар яах нь зөвхөн алхах нь шүү дээ. Love him. Алхаж түүнийг хайрлах. Түүний хүндэл нь түүний түүнд мөргөн. Hear his voice. Түүний дуу хоолойг сонсон. As we do that. Яг ингээд явж жахад. Things happen inside of us. Бидний дотор юмс болж жахна нэ шүү. I would say automatically автоматар гэж би юу хэлмээр байна just like teeth grow automatically hair grow Shoot, automatically шүүд өс бүгд автоматар урагдаг шиг all fingers grow automatically хоронууд бүгд автоматар at the same time зэрэг it's not one finger first нэг нь амар урт ургаад нөгөө зүг нь үзэгдэхгүй юу then the other one begins it's just that дараа гих нь зуугаад болтой and we pray we pray we pray we pray go 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 I mean I know nothing about it basically but I, I saw it. Би энэ талаар бас аа юм мэдгүй ч гэсэн харсаар байтал ургаад идэм бэ лээ. Then talk with the doctor or google it. Тийм тэгэл юм ч имчтэй ярьсан гуглцсан ч юм л юм байгаа. The markers it happens automatically. Тэгэхээр тэр тэмдэглэгээ гэж юм бол автоматар If you water your plants the plant will grow. Ургамлыг та суулгахад тэр ургана шүү дээ. You don't have to pray. Залбирх хэрэггүй. Just water it. Зүгээр усал. Protect it. Хамгаал and it will go fruit yes. flowers will Ur come or orga tsitsilel jimsilel inge yavch because it's built inside the plant ya tegel en chadur nu urmliha dotor nu baigad avch but when it comes to maintaining and growing har nugo nug hadgalch sakhad tegel usgn gedeg bol we have an active part bid nerin nugo itgte baidlig shaardad idin it's not enough to, to walk with him e odo bol har nu burhanta alkh nu angalt тапиш we have to carry these values maintain them and grow them бидэн төгсөн тэр хаанчлын үн цэнийг бид нар бүр хадгалах ёстой тех ёстой ургахт нь санаа тавих ёстой okay ойлгож байна те then тэгээд god will see that бурхан энийг харна яаж авч яваа гэж сахиж байгаа when we walk with him би түүнтэй алхаж байхад and god produce this markers бурхан тэмдэглэлээ нүдтэй би болгож байна people will see. Тэрийг хүмүүс харна гэж хэлсэн те. Your husband will see, your wife will see. Чин, your чин, children will see, your neighbor. Чин, чин. Your colleague at work. Ажлын газрын хүн чин. Your co-student at school. Аа хамт сурдаг ангийн оюутан. When we when we sh- uh, when we maintain and grow in Babylon. Харин бид нар Babylonд энэ юмсаа сахиж явахад үсгэж явахад. We have to do the active part. Бид нар итгэхдээ ажиллагаа хийх хэрэгтэй болж байгаа юм бид. Keep the value, grow the value. Үнцэнэ хамгаалах хэрэгтэй болж байгаа үнцэнэ нэмэгдүүлэх хэрэгтэй болж байгаа. And God will see that. Харин тэрийг бол бурхан хардаг. God will see that. Бурхан хардаг. So the first one people will see it. За эхний хэсэг дээр нь хүмүүс харна. God will see. Хоёр дах хэсгийг бол бурхан харна. Later I will tell you why. Hello what? За тэгээ би дараа For what purpose? А дараа нь би ямар ямар учир зорилгоор юм бэ гэдгийг нэг хэлэх чинь. Тэгээ ямар ч тэмдэглэл авчих. Эхний хэсгийг хүмүүс харддаг бол хоёр дах хэсгийг бурхан харна. I wrote here John 14:23. Jesus spoke about it. 24 гэж би тэмдэглсэн байна. I think I have. Jesus энэ тухай ярьсан байгаа маа. I have preached that here. Би энд намалж исэн энэ талаар. But it's still a very important word for me. Өнөөдөр миний хувьд их хэрэгтэй хэвэрлэн. А 14 юм шүү. Jesus. А 14 шүү. Yeah, John 14. Би болохоор за. 23. 14-ийн 23. За. 
Jesus answered him. Jesus Harulchen. If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. And my father will love him. And we will come to him and make our home with him. Very interesting. Because there is a progression here. If someone loves me, he will keep my word. We keep his word, not because we have to, but because we love the one who spoke. That's why we keep it. Because the person who said it has value in our lives. Okay? So Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my word. To keep has to do with time. He will keep my word. <laughs> he will carry it and think about meditate. Then my father will love him. But I thought God loved me already. But I think there are different levels of love. When we had, when our children were babies, we loved them. Now they're adults. We love them in a different way. Because now we can have serious talk. Intelligent talk. We can debate. We can sharpen each other. You don't sharpen a baby. You just change the diaper. Then back to bed. It's not, it's not that difficult, that complicated. During the night they wake up five times and, and destroy your sleep. Very simple. When they are 30 years, 35 years, they have children. Whoa. Then we love them in a different way. It has been love all the time. But we love them in a deeper way than when they were babies, saying nothing, thinking nothing. We love them doing nothing. They did nothing, we did everything. But when they are 35, 40 years old. Whoa, when we meet, it's a different level of love. You understand that? So the Father has loved us all the time. Actually, God loved us even before we knew Him. While we were sinners, He already loved us. But then we got born again. Wow, the Father was happy. Then we grew up and become mature. Then even more love. Jesus said, if you keep my word, if you love me, you keep my word. If you keep my word, my father will love you on a new level. Because he will see that you keep the word of his own son. Then the father is happy. Because he loved his son. He loved. So he loved when we obey his son because we love his son too. So God is reading our lives. So when we maintain values, kingdom values, when we understand them, maintain them, grow them, God sees it. God sees it. 
ойлгож байна те бурхан харж байна that's why he would give us influence тэр бидэнд нөлөө өгдөг so influence comes after shining in after maintaining а тэр нөлөө байна штэ гэрэлтэд энэ үн цэнүүдийг хадгалж сагсны дараа ирдэг there is a progression тэгэхээр юм байнгын өсөлт хөгжилт явж байгаа байхгүй хөгжингүй байдал явж байгаа Daniel came to Babylon за Даниел Бабилон дэрлээ he brought everything god had produced built in his life бурхны түүний дотор байрж байгуулсан бүхнийг аваад ирлээ immediately shining began мэдээж хэрэг шууд гэрэлтж байгаа юм people saw хүмүүс харлаа then he kept the values тэгэнгүүт Даниел тэр үн цэнэ сахих хэвээр болж байна god raised him up сахсан тэгэнгүүт бурхан түүнийг өргөж гаргаж ирж байгаа юм influence түүнд нөлөө өгч байгаа so let me show you the values i can see in the in daniel's life за даниелийн амьдралд байгаа тэр үн цэнүүдийг та нарт харуулъя өнөт зүйлсийг би та нарт харуулъя өнөт зүйлс гэж чирээ daniel's values okay are you ready даниелийн өнөт зүйлс number 1 нэгдүгээрт parenthood at home and fatherhood in the house can you translate that parent oh. parenthood his parents yeah that it's a gich ur hookting harilza nugotkhun parenthood at home he had parents at home the it's a gich ther medeoch it's a gichte baisan baish taaraa shte tgehr danielin it's a gich it's a gichich n urtan harilz be ur n it's a gich hookti harilza gerch chich okay Daniel had parents at home. Daniel мэдээж гэртээ байх та эцэг хэвтэй байсан байгаа. Daniel has special fathers in the house. Аа за ойлгосон. Өөрийнх нь төрсөн ээж болоод хоёр дахь нь болохоор сүнслэг эцэг их. Biological parents and spiritual parents. Аа тий. Төрлөх эцэг их сүнслэг эцэг. That's value number 1. Энэ нэгдүгээр үнтэй үнтэй зүйлс юу ямар зүйлс гэлээ? Үнэт зүйлс. I have to maintain them. maintain that i have to grow that за тэгэхээр энэ үнэт зүйлсийг бид нар хадгалж сахиж өөрийнхөө дотор улам ургуулах хэвээр i forgot to say something би нэг зүйл хэлэх юм арчиж so i have to go back a little bit за жоохон ухраад тахи sorry for that хараад тахи in so we take your энийг ойлгоцсон дэ take a pause we go a little bit back жоохон тав заваад We we'll come back to this value. Because I will explain to you why. Why values? За би та нар нөгөө ер нь яга заавал үнэт зүйлс гэж гэдэг тайлбарлах хэрэгтэй. And I found it in Daniel chapter 1. Тэгээ энийг би Даниелийн нэгдүгээр бүлэгдээрээс олсон юм байгаа юм. Okay, from verse 1 to verse verse 1 and verse 2. Нэгийн нэг нэгийн нэг 2. If you read from verse 1 to verse 4 you will find out more. Нэгэс дөрөг унших юм бол та маш их зүйлийг олж. We don't read it, I will just quote it, okay? За би зүгээр ингээ их татаад явчих та нар баран уушаа. Цаг байгаа учраас. From verse 1 to verse 4. Нэгэс дөрөгдөр ихтэл дээр. This is what the Bible says. Библ ингэж хэлсэн байгаа. Let me take my notes. Библ дээр хэлсэн зүйлийг хараа. The king of Babylon besieged attacked Jerusalem. Besieged гэдэг нь attack. За Бабилоны хаан Иерусалимыг дайрсан гэж байгаа. King of Babylon came to Jerusalem. Jerusalem дээрээ Иерусалимыг дайрсан. That's what he said in Daniel 1:1-4. За энэ бол Даниелийн нэгэс нэг дөрөв дээр байгаа шүү. Нэг нь God gave the king of Judah into the hand of the king of Babylon. Тэгээд юу гэж хэлсэн байна гэхээр Юудагийн хааныг бурхан Бабилоны хааны гарт ушаасан. Number 3. Гуравт нь articles from the temple. А нөгөө сүмд байсан ид агуурсыг was stolen carried away and put in the house of the king. Бабилоны хаанаар одоо хаан булааж аваад тэгэд өөрийнхөө өргөнд авиж тавьсан. Number four. Дөрвөт нь the king asked Ashpenaz to choose talented people. Хаан нөгөө өөрийн тайгнуудын тэргүүн Ашпеназас хамгийн сор болсон хүмүүсийн түүч авиж хэлсэн. I summarize verse 1 to verse 4. За тэгэхээр нэгэс дөрвөдөр ирчлэг би зүгээр нэгтгэж. Four things I mentioned. Дөрвөн зүйлийг би сайн хэллээ штэ. The king of Babylon attacked Jerusalem. Нэгдүгээр хаан Иерусалимыг дайрсан байна. Number 2 was Хоёрт нь болохоор God gave the king of Judah into the hands of the king of Babylon. Хоёрт нь бурхан Юудагийн хааныг Бабилоны хааны гарт ушаасан байна. Number 3 нь The vessels were stolen from the temple. Арын сүмийн сав суулга авагдсан. Number four. Дөрөвт нь young people were selected. А залуучуудыг нь шилж авсан. If you look at the four. За энэ дүрийг харах юм бол 
three of them are very important. Jerusalem was attacked. That's a big thing. The king of Judah was God gave the king of Judah into the hands of the king of Babylon. Very bad. Number three, the young men were selected. Very important. But then, I thought, the vessels. Why is that important? The three are very important. Issues. Issues. The forks and the knives and the <laughs> coffee cups and <laughs> plates and bowls <laughs> and compared to the three <laughs> others, these details, why is it so important? It's important because they had value in God's eyes. They were articles used in the temple in God worship. So for me, this article thing is very important as well. As important as the three others. You understand that? It was small things, practical things. Bows and glasses. And cups and but they had value because what they were used for. Then I understood. The vessel stands for values. Ah, in The young men were important, yes. even more important were the values. So they had to maintain the values. And I, believe was, I believe it was such a grief for the Jews to see these articles which were meant to serve God in the temple used by idol worshippers. mentioned that yesterday. Suddenly they had a big party, they want to worship idols, he said, Bring the vessels. I believe David, Daniel's heart was crushed. So these practical things stand for value. That's why I want to show you the values in Daniel's life. And the values which should be in our lives. God will not maintain them for us. We have to maintain them. As we walk with him, he will make the marking shining. But to, but to maintain it is on our Table. So we have to understand kingdom values. It's not to be nice. Anybody can be nice. So parenthood and fatherhood. Okay. Parenthood and fatherhood. That's why family is important. Honor your father and your mother. And you will have a long life. Long life is not only years. It's long enough to fulfill your work. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So we have to teach our children, we have to build these values. Honor your father and mother. When they become adults, they still have to honor their father and mother. 
том болсон ч эцэг хийгээ хүндсэн юурэл авсан. They don't have to obey them anymore. А дуулгуртай байх хэрэггүй гэж бодсон. Because they adults. Яа тэгэл өөрсдөө том болцсон шүү дээ. They make their own decisions. Тэд нар өөрсдөө нөгөө шийдрээ гарах настай юм. When they are 7, 8 years old, we make decisions for them. Харин 7 настай хүүгийн өмнөөс бид нар шийдвэр гаргана шүү дээ. But we train them. Гэхдээ бид нар хүүхдүүдээ сурах хэвээр. Сурах хэвээр нөгөөдөлтэйгэ. Жигдэх хэвээр. Because one day we know. Учир нэг л өдөр we cannot tell them what to do anymore. Тэд нар та яг юм яаж хийхийг нь заавал зааварчлаад байх. What we have put in them will help them to decide what they want to do. За. Бид нар дандаа тэдний өмнөөс шийдэхгүй шүү. Нэг л өдөр тэд нар өөрсдөө шийдэх насандаа хүрэх байхгүй юу? Тэрэнд нь бид нар сурах хэвээр л гэдэг байна. And then is too late to change anything. Бид нар сургаагүй байх юм бол тэд нар насанд хүрэхт нь сурах гэвэл оройцсон байх болно. If I push my children хүчлэх юм бол хүч ашиглах юм бол. хүүхдүүд маань ава breathe in breathe out have a break тийм сайхан гүн амьсгалчих та тий гаргачих та тайвшир та би өөрөө шийдэж ш тэ гэхнэш тэ we wash them raise their children тэгээ заримдаа бид нар нөгөө хүүхдүүдээ хүүхдүүдээ яаж өсөж байгааг нь хардаг and we have our thoughts тэгээ мэдээж бодно ш тэ бид нар чи oh my ээч but if we say something we say that it could you please Тэгээ бид нар одоо хөндлөнгөөс нь оролцвол хүүхдээ ингэж мингэж гэвэл аава та ингэж цахилгаанаа татмаар байна гэх юм шиг. We can give advices. Яг хөө зүгээр өгч болно л тоо. Гэтэл тэдний хүүхдүүд юм л та тэд нар бол. The way they use their money is their decision. Тэгээ тэ мөнгөө зөнгөө хэрэгжиж байвал одоо тэдний We give advices. Бид нар зөвлөгөө өгч болно. But they are responsible for their life. Гэтэл тэд нар өөрсдийн хүүхдүүдийн төлөө өөрсдөө хариуцлах та. Аа. Ойлгож байна уу? If they say for example жишээл бэл жишээ аав as they say quite often за ийм юм зөндөө тохиолддог could you take the children a weekend хүүхдүүдээ амралтаараа аваад амралтын өдрөөр дээр аваад хаасан аа за амралтын өдрөөр манай хүүхдүүдийг харах уу гэдэг хэлэхээр нь за тгийг хийл да we are happy when they come we are happy when they are we happy when they go эрхээр нь баярлалтай шүү дээ тэгээд яаж нь баяртай байдгийг тэгээд явахаар нь бүр баярлалтай Тэгтээ зүгээр ер нь бол эрхээр нь баярлалтай шүү дээ. Not too many of them at the same time. Мэдээж нэг дор бөөн бөөнөрөө олж явах нь тийм л. But while we have them. Тэгтээ ямар ч гэсэн хүүхдүүд нь ирлээ ачцсан юм байна. We have to be careful. Бид нар болгоомжтой байх хэвээр. Because we have to respect their way of raising their children. Яагаад гэвэл хүүхдүүд юм байна. Хүүхдүүдээ өсгөж байгаа арга замыг бид нар хүндлэх хэвээр. We cannot say Now you are our children this weekend we do whatever. Хагсан бүтэнсэн өдр одоо ач зэнэр нь хүрээл ирэнгүү за. Одоо чамаагаа би чинь сургаа шүү дээ. Одоо хоёр өдр бол одоо миний мэдлэх юм гэж болохгүй. But the children are small enough. Тэгээ хүүхдүүд чиг ухаантай юм аа. Хангалттай ухаантай. Тэгээ юу сэ? Can we have chocolate? Тэд нар чинь шоколад тий гэл тийм шүү дээ. And they know no. Үгүй болохгүй. But they think we don't know that what the their parents have told them. Тэд нар бид нарыг аав ээж нь бидэнд хийсэн гэдгийг мэдхгүй байгаа хэрэг. So we ask them, is it okay for that in mom? Yeah, it's okay for that in mom. Yeah. Тэгэл бид нар тэдэнд хэлээ шинэ шоколадны тухай ярьж байхад ээж авч нь тэгээ зүгээр үтэй гэнг зүгээрээ зүгээр цаад болж яах ч юм. But we know it's not okay. Тэгээ бид нар мэдээд байгаа хэрэг үгүй. But that's why because that thing we don't know. Тэгээ зүгээр янзын нүдэд асуусан чинь нөгөө төрч болохоор бид нар мэдхгүй гэв аав ээжтэй яригүй гэж бодод байгаа хэрэг. Children are very smart. Амар оо тархитлаа. Run for what about an ice cream now? Өвөө өстэй нэг сайхан мрачнт ч хөө гэж бодчихсон. Оо We ask them. Тэгээ бид нэр асуусан байгаа. We, we, we have four four homes, four children. Тэгээ дөрөв different rules and different homes. Тэгээ дөрөв гэр шүүтэй, дөрөв айл шүүтэй, дөрөв айл чинь дөрөв өөр дөрөв. To remember. Тэгээ нэг дөрөв айлын дөрөв дөрмийг санах хэвээр. Sometimes we ask them. Царимд асуутай. When is bedtime in your family? Үшээ л тана гэрийн унтах цаг чи хийсэн бэлээ. Нөгөө самуул чинь. Тэ. Бэтэн always ten p. Тэгэл нөгөө хөө ач зэнэрээс асуух нөгөө л худлаа ярих нь шүү. 10 цагт унтдаг шүү дээ. 11 11 pm something. Харин бүр бид нар 11 хөргөнгөөч гэж мэгээл нөгөө ач зэн. Тэгвэл яг тийм юм уу гэдэг. Нээрээ өгөө нээрээ шүү. Should I should I call daddy? No no don't call. Аа чуу цаа асуух юм уу. Яг нэ бити аса бити аса. Because they know it's not 10 is 9:30. Тэгээ угаасаа угаасаа нөгөө 10 цагт чис бүр 9 цагт унтах хэвээр байгаад байгаа юм уу. The expert in manipulation. Тэгээ нөгөө тул чи имэ өө аргалхтай мэрэгжил юм байгаа байхгүй юу. Sometimes it's nice to be manipulated. Тэгээ угаасаа тэд нар дарангуулахаар бид нар албаар ингээд дарангуулуулаад байгаа байгаа байхгүй айгуу дуртай. When the parents come back, we have to эцэг их нь авах гээд хүүхдүүдээ авах гээд ирэн штэ. Тэгээд имээ өө тайлангаа тавина гинэ. 
When did they go to bed? Well, I think it was. At age of nineteen, the man of the hit it on the single. So between ten and eleven. 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 Aro aro, they go to on the machine. Yui, that's what. Should be nine. Nine. Who's to understand? Go to that thing. Daddy. Next time, nine. Okay, okay, okay. okay, okay. okay. It's time for repentance. <laughs> <laughs> it's not easy to be a grandparent. Because grandchildren are so smart. <laughs> then the parents ask them, did you tell grandpa you have to be up until 11 o'clock? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Okay, so raise our children well is very important. Honor your parents. Because one day they will have to honor people above them. At work, at school, we will not develop rebellion. And one day they have to honor God. So we train them for honor. It's not to dominate them, it's not to enslave them. Teach you obedience. Yeah. We have to teach them that. Because we're not born obedient. There is no course about how to be disobedient. They find out by themselves. <laughs> but we have the purpose in mind that one day they will have to listen to his voice. One day they have to obey the teacher. You have to do your homework. The 5th of June you have to deliver your project. For, for example. Fifth of June is not sixth of June, it's fifth of June. And everybody must work like that. So parenthood is very important. Teach them to forgive, to reconcile. Who did that? She, she started. Yes. No, he started. No, she started. Okay. Let's handle that. We we teach them things like that. Because in the future, it will be values. They can reconcile. Maybe at work. Tensions between colleagues. Oh, because you have these kingdom values, you can facilitate that. Bring, bring understanding. Find a way. Handle the crisis, the conflict. Remove the tension at work. Remove jealousy, competition. So parenthood at home. Fatherhood in the house. A little bit more about parenthood. Because I've, you know me, I've had this question for many years. How come the nation of Israel is doing so well? That's ongoing question. Such difficult history. Genocide. Then the language was resurrected. The language, Hebrew. Hebrew. Oh, you read it. They had to reinvent 
Hebrew resurrected from the dead. You know, many languages have disappeared. Latin has disappeared. Nations have disappeared. Israel resurrected in Even the language was resurrected. Amazing For me, that's supernatural. It's God at work. There is no other reasonable explanation for that. Just, just because God wants them there, nobody can destroy them. Because of his promise to Abraham. Abraham so they have they have these values. That's why they have survived everything. With no temple, no Messiah, they have kept the values. And I believe that's an issue we can learn from that. Let me give you an example. I found on somewhere on the internet. The internet is there is a man, Professor Michael Rosbach. Michael Rosbach is a professor, professor of biology. Biology professor And he's a Jew. The Yevre Hungitin. And he became Nobel Prize. He's Nobel Shagnas Afsimben. He's a neuroscientist, and he won the Nobel Prize for biology. Biology in Otto Hani Nero Otto Nero. Okay. When he received the Nobel Prize, do you know what he said? He said, I am the son of the cantor in the synagogue. The cantor, you know what the cantor is? Is the in the synagogue there was one person leading in singing. She is your cantor. Okay, okay, okay. So, in which he sang in a B bottle synagogue to a tick at a Marta thing with the chin who they still have in synagogues. They have a cantor. Did not auto known synagogue to Hoyo, the synagogue to a Marta thing with the chin who cantor is near him and did not a Marta thing with the chin. They are leading people in music, singing the psalms of David. The first thing he said, I'm a son of the canto in the synagogue. Can you believe it? For me, that speaks so loudly. I'm here because of my parents. His parents might not even have gone to high school. But he had that deep value. He had that deep value. He had that deep value. He had Absolutely fantastic. Christians have lost that. God wants it back. That's why David said, I'm the son of Jesse. Paul said, Timothy is my son. Paul said, Timothy is my son. Oh, what do you mean by that? I mean nothing. Where go? It's the value of the kingdom. I could, I could give you other examples. From secular society. Contemporary society. Where some people who are not even believers understand honor and legacy. So somehow we are behind them. <laughs> but we'll get there. Now, connection to the house, Daniel 16. I have to move on. One day you will have my book so you can have the rest. Daniel 16. 
When Daniel knew that the document had been signed, he went to his house where he had windows in his upper chamber open toward Jerusalem. Six, six, ten. 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 He got down on his knees three times a day and prayed and gave thanks before his God as he had done previously. Now we don't have to do that. We don't have to open the window and pray in the direction of Jerusalem or, or the church building here, that's my church. No, no. That's all covenants. Now some Christians do that. So that's religion. There is a value here. So we have to draw the value out of that. Why? Why did he pray towards Jerusalem? That's why the fathers were. So in doing that, he expressed, I'm here in Babylon, but I honor my fathers. That's a hard value. I don't pray in the direction of Muar. I'm not a Muslim. But in my heart, I stay connected to my fathers. This is what Daniel expressed through this practical way of doing it. Daniel don't have, you don't have to pray in the direct pray to in direction of Pastor Sudan Baggy's house. No. But you have to keep your heart connected to them. Yeah. Even during the week. Thank God for my fathers. Thank God for the example, their lives. I am, I am a follower. I am an heir, receive the legacy, the mandate. I will express the mandate in my sphere. They will express the same mandate in their sphere. So these words have nothing to do with open windows. And <laughs> Actually, the temple was not there anymore. But for him, it meant something in here in the heart. I am here in Babylon. I shine here in Babylon. Because God has produced these markers in my life. But I will maintain this value. Because, because if I don't maintain it, it will decrease. Instead of influencing Babylon, he will become a Babylonian. Are you hearing this? Yeah. So important to maintain the value. Okay. Yeah. Let me give you, I have to go a little bit quick. The value, the transformation process. The value, the transformation process. Whoa. That's, that's a very good one. Do you remember the story where uh, Daniel's friends Daniel had to worship the false god. And if they didn't do that, they were put in the fire. You remember that story? So they have even heaten the fire many more times. And they put them in, in there. And there was somebody in there. And they walked out. 
тэгэд гараад ирдэн шүү дээ амьд and not even the clothes smell of burn or the hair өнөр байгаад what a miracle юу ч хуйхлагдаагүй гайхамшиг болдог okay so but there is more to it а энэс өөр юм байгаа шүү энэ дэр that fire means something энэ гал нэг юмыг илэрхийлээд байна let me share with you what i believe За би өөр би энэ галыг юу гэж итгэдэг үү талаараа ярих. That's my understanding. Энэ бол миний ойлголт. I believe it speaks about the transformation process in our lives. Бидний амьдрал дахь өөрчлөлтийн одоо явцыг гал илэрхийлээд. For many Christians. Маш олон христчтэй. Fire stands for passion. Гал болохоор зэрэг халуун хүсэл тэмүүллийг илэрхийлдэг байгаа. I'm on fire for God. I'm fire for Jesus. Бохны төлөө гэсэн Иесусийн төлөө гэсэн гал байна. Fire for revival. Сэргэлтийн гал одоо байна. That's good. Энэ бол сайн шүү болж байна. There is another sign. Гэхдээ өөр бас нэг тал байна. Actually in the Bible the fire stands for something else. Ер нь бол Библ дээр гал бол өөр зүйлийг төлөөлдөг байна. Fire stands for бэлэг тэмдэг бол cleansing. Цэвэрлэгэг бэлэг тэм бэлгэлдэг юу илэрхийлдэг. Cleansing. That's where fire comes in. Цэвэрлэгэг илэрхийлдэг. Okay. So the cleansing is part of the transformation process. Тэгэхээр цэвэрлэгээ бол өөрчлөгдөх үйл явцын сааш хүн нэгс. And I believe. Тэ би юу гэж итгэдэг вэ гэхээр? When they walked out of the fire. Тэд нар галаас гарч ирэхдээ and nothing had been affected. Тэд нар юу юу ч өртөг байхгүй гал. It's because God had been transforming them ongoing in an ongoing way. Бурхан тэднийг тасралтгүйгээр өөрчлөх үйл явцаар дагуулан явж исэн учраас they had had already God's fire burning in them. Тэгээ, угааса тэдний тэр тасралтгүй үйл явцаар тэдний дотор бурхан тасралтгүй галыг өрдөж исэн байгаа хгүй. Removing childishness. Тэр нэг нялхамсаг байдлыг устгаж исэн байгаа. Төлөвшөөгөө байдлын зайлуулж исэн. Removing insecurity. Тэр нэг айдас хүйцийг нь аттагаагүй байдлыг зайлуулж исэн. If God rescues us Wonderful. If he does not, wonderful. Тэгээ тэд нар орхоос өмнө хэлдэг шүү. Бурхан авруу сайн байна. Авахгүй бол зүгээр сайн байна. So secure. Амар батлагатай. No complexes of inferiority, no guilt feelings, no айсан ажил одоо тэ өөрсдөө буруутгсан мэдрэмжүүд байна. No jealousy. They didn't compete with Daniel and Daniel keep competing with them. Тэгээ тэд нар Даниелтэй өрсөлдөө Даниел байнга тэдэнтэй өрсөлдөө өстө. Тийм байгааг байхгүй юу? An ongoing fire had been working in the lives. Тэдний амьдрал дээр бурхны дотоод цэвэршүүлэх гал байнга ажиллаж исэн. So when they were not affected by the external fire. Тийм учраас тэд нар одоо гадна дүрэлзэж байгаа галанд өртөг үү? Is because the internal fire had been working on them all the time. Учир нь тэдний дотор бол гал байн ажиллаж исэн. Тэр тэрнээс ч өмнө ажиллаж исэн. How wonderful is that? Гайхалтай байгаа хэрэг. I love that thought. Тэ энэ бодол надад үнэхээр таалагддаг. I'm so impressed by these young people. Тэ энэ залуучуудын хараа би үнэхээр сэтгэл өгсөн. So open for God's transformation and corrections and Бурхны тэ байнгын өөрчлөх үйл явц, байнгын одоо хувьсал тэдний дотор аль хэцээний хийгдэж байсан байгаа хэрэг. So no external attacks affected them because the internal was so strong. Тийм штэ. Тэр дотоод гал нь хүчтэй байсан учраас гадаад гал тэднийг яаж чаддаагүй байхгүй юу? Би ер нь ойлгомжтой ярьж байгаа шүү дээ. Гайгүй шүү дээ. Let me show something more which is totally mind blowing. За яс тасарцсан нэг юм таанд таруулъя. In the days of Noah. Ноагийн өдрүүдэд God saw. Бурхан харсан байна. That the heart of man was evil. Хүний зүрх ёор юм болсон нэг and it spread from person to person. Тэгээд юу гэсэн халдварт өвчин мэт хүнээс хүнд талдаж байсан. Because evil reproduces itself. Учир нь ёрын зүйл чинь өрчтэй штэ. Evil contaminates. Бохирдуулдаг, бузардаг. Evil shines too. Бас ёрын зүйл ч бас өөр өөрөө гэрэлтэнэ. Аа. Аа. So God saw that. Тэгээд бурхан тэрийг харсан. And it saw that that evil was spreading to the whole planet Earth. Тэгээ юу гэсэн гариг дэлхий дээр тэр ёрын юм цэцгэлж байгааг харсан мөн. And God decided I have to stop that. Тэгээ бурхан зогсоо нэнийг гэж хийсэн. Otherwise earth will become hell. Эс бөгөөс энэ гариг бол там болно. So God decided I have to stop that. Тэгээ бурхан би зогсоо яа гэж хийсэн. Immediately. Даруй. And he sent the flood. You remember the story? Тэгээ тэр үерийг явуулдаг тийм ээ. Үер болгодог. And no one his family. No болон түүний гэр бүл аврагдаг. Etc. etc. Тэгээ их мэдчих. But then God said. Тэгээд бурхан хэлсэн байгаа. I will not do that again. Дахиж би ингэхгүй. It will not be water again. Одоо дахиж ус усан татуулахгүй. It will be fire. Харин гал байх бол. Meaning. Гэдэг энэ to exterminate 
mankind by water. It's not the ultimate solution. Listen carefully. The ultimate solution is fire. Not the ultimate solution is fire. But, but it's not external fire, it's internal fire. Because it was a hard problem. So God knew, what are we not doing? But fire can do it. So one day, I will send my fire. And that fire will burn in their hearts. And burn all evil and all flesh and all jealousy and burn murderous thoughts and burn sexual abuse and, and rape and all these evil things. So much evil. In India last week, small girl, six years old, raped by five men, and then they kill her. Why cannot earth fix that? Can water fix it? No. Fire. Fire can burn in the heart. Water did not fix soul. Fire fixed soul and he became poor. So God saw in the future, I know, the solution for the evil heart problem. It will not be external things. It will be internal. Amen. That's why Pentecost came. The fire came. Even Peter changed. Peter was all his insanity and weakness. All that. All that big mouth and arrogance. All that Pentecost. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. That's why they, were, they loved one another. There was no conflict in the church. Because flesh had been burned. Whoa, fire. fire is so important. So Daniel 3.27 is the story 6 as well. Daniel 3.27 Peter 3.6 Luke. Yes, let's go to Luke. I will show you. Luke 24. Are you still here? Yeah. Let me show you this. Oh my. Luke, I love 24. this. 24 verse 32. Yeah. It's the two disciples on the way to Emmaus. Jesus shows up. Speak, they speak to him. He spoke to them. And after he spoke to them, they said to each other, Did not our hearts burn within us? While we spoke with him. That's not passion. I believe something was burning up inside of them. They were full of fear. They had totally resigned. These people were wonderful people. He had trained them for three years. They, they had been shining with him. But now they something. Jesus disappeared and their lives went down. So he comes up. He speaks to them. His fire burns. Something was removed. Fear was removed. Resignation was removed. All this thing was just burnt. 
What did they do? They ran back to Jerusalem. Back to the house. Maybe they didn't like Peter, but now they love him. Maybe they were so fed up with Peter. But all that was burned now. They ran back to Peter. Maybe they were tired of Thomas's doubts. But now they ran back to Thomas. Because we had to carry this together. So, so I believe this fire just burned all that inside of me. Because all, all what they carried was between each other. Because what is inside of us will, will become between us. You understand that? What is inside of us will come between us. If you have attitudes toward Pastor Suda. Ah, that's it. Zub zub. I don't be so bad. I said, I'm not going to hurt you. It will begin. It will build a war between us. Ah, the. The other day, I just heard many doctors were saying that it's very hard to hand bear this job. If I have reservation, then I'm not going to be able to say the same words. I would choose other words. Ah, the. Because I'm a little bit reserved. Hmm. I don't think it's a good idea. So what is inside of us comes between us. And Jesus wants to build a church, living stones, built together. So fire was necessary. Fire in the heart to burn things like that. Otherwise, when Peter stood up in Jerusalem to speak to the crowds, the others would think, well, Peter again. Peter again, 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 again. Always him. But all that was burned away. So that's a value. We have to welcome that transformation, ongoing process. Amen. Can you say amen to that? Amen. Every time we hear the word and we see drink of the waters of the spirit, from time to time we will feel that, whoa, something is burned out of my life. It's not, it's not to damage you or harm you. It's to burn it away. It's burning surgery. Like a laser beam. Yeah, lasers. I work with lasers once in university. So they value the transformation process. Hebrews says God is a consuming fire. Amen. Amen. But we should not fear him. We still love him. And the more we love him, the more we walk with him, the more fire burns things away from our lives. Value that. Pastor Baggy speak a message Sunday morning. And you feel like the light is on an issue in your life. It's called laser beam. Burn it away. Be happy. Don't say, oh, ouch. Now, I need healing. I need healing now. No, you just need to walk, walk on. Continue to walk. Amen. 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 Amen.
The disciples they want fire to come down and burn cities. They were targeting the existed. They target them both the day not take shot. Oh, Jesus thought, my goodness. Jesus, oh, yeah, it did. No, it did. Where do they come from? No, the fire has to burn in their own hearts. They thought about others. But God won the fire in their own hearts. Burn him. <laughs> okay? Transformation process. Acts chapter 2 is Pentecost. Fire came on everyone. And then we think, oh, they were on ah, fire. Yeah, fire was burning inside of What did he burn away? It can be soulish issues, yes. I that thing there was another issue more important than that. the old covenant. God had to shut it down. Otherwise, they will become again. That's why Paul spoke to Peter, Peter right in his face. You are on the way back to the old covenant. That was words of fire. Peter had to listen to it. Peter did recognize it. I don't know what Peter said. Peter But I'm sure he said it's okay. Just burn it. That was I have to wash myself. The old covenant was dead. And a dead covenant produces death in people. Okay? So I believe it was also the old, the old covenant had to be burned out. Otherwise, it will still be there. And it tries to creep in in the church. The Galatians begin to Oh, Peter did not want to preach to Gentiles. While he preached, God's spirit came down. I believe two things happened. The Gentiles were baptized with the Holy Spirit. And Peter was barbecued. Peter <laughs> Grill, grill, on the grill. <laughs> and then she realized, God loves them. God loves the Gentiles. I have to change. Amen. Are, are you hearing this? Okay, let's take a break. And then last session. Still awake. <laughs> if you need a coffee injection, we have a doctor here. And the coffee and coffee need a little heat to get it as fresh. Or a bee injection. So we get hot cream hot to wake you up. If one, if one is not enough, you can have two. We are privileged here. We have the experts. Okay. So. I have sent you to Babylon. Meaning, everything I have entrusted you with. Bring it with you. As we work with God, God will make mockers. Then God says, build houses, plant gardens, which means establish things. Maintain, consolidate. How do we do that? By keeping the values. So I gave you some of the values I can see are obvious here. 
За энд илэрхий байгаа зарим нэг үнэт зүйлсийг би та нар танилцуулж байна. Value what God values. За бурхны эрхмэлдэг үнэт зүйлс. Value what God values. Бурхны эрхмэлдэж үнэлдэг үнэт зүйлс. And I have already gone through these passages. За энэ энэ Библийн шүлүүд дээр би ярьсан байгаа. Daniel 1:2. Daniel chapter 1 verse 2. За Даниил 1-ийн That's the vessels. No, сав суулгыны тухай ярьж байгаа. Vessels stand for values. Тэгэхээр сав суулга бол зүгээр сав суулга биш шүү. Энэ үнэт зүйлсийг төлөөлж байна. Daniel 5. Daniel 5. That's where the king the king uh, used the vessels for idol worship. За энэ болохоор хаан хэрхэн хиймэл шүтэнүүдийг хүндэж мөргөхтэй нөгөө бурхны ариун савуудыг хэрглэхээр шийдсэн. And God came. Бурхан өөрөө орж ирдэг. That night he died. Тэр шүн тэр хаан өгдөг. That shows God is attentive to the values. Тэгэхээр бурхан үнэт зүйлсэндээ ямар анхааралтай вэ гэдгийг энэ үйл явдал харуулчихсан. Important to him, important to us. Бурхан чухал байдаг юм бид нь чухал байх ёстой. Okay, so this one is Тэгэхээр энэ бол everything God values I must value as well. Бурханы эрхмэлдэг бүхнийг би эрхмэлж одоо үнэлэх ёстой л гэсэн үг. Philippians chapter 4 verse 1. Филиппой номын 4 4-ийн 1. Филиппой 4-ийн 1. Philippians chapter 4 verse 1. Therefore my brothers whom I love and long for my joy and my crown stand firm thus in the Lord my beloved. Тэмэд миний баяр хөөр ба титэн миний мөн миний хүсэн тэмүүлэх хайр тахтуу нар минь эзэн дотор баттай зогсогтой. Which means maintain what you have. Одоо энэ чинь юу гэсэн үг вэ гэхээр байгаагаа сахил гэсэн үг шүү дээ. I love you, I long for you, you are my joy, you are my crown. Та нарыгаа хайрладаг, та нарыгаа санжээ, та баяр титэн харин байгаагаа битэй алдаарэ. Don't disconnect from me, I love you. Надаас битэй холбоогоо дастаарэ би та нар тааралтай Maybe verse 4 before that. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again I will say rejoice. Why two times? Are they deaf or what? Are they stupid or what? No, means Maintain it. Rejoice. One time more. Rejoice. Keep that joy. Consolidate that joy. Root that joy in the ground. Practice that joy. Especially when things try to make you sad. Don't let the external affect the internal. Гадаа хүчин зүйлс дотор чинь нөлөөлөхийг битээ зөвшөөр. Let the internal affect the external. Харин гадаах нь дотоохтой үгүй биш дотрох нь гадаахтай нөлөөлөх. There is a verse which I love very much. I never remember where it is. Тэ ишлүүдийн нэг юм да. God gives songs in the night. Бурхан шүн дунд дууг өгдгөө гэж. You can find it in the concordance. Тэ та нар конкордэнс мансаас хайгаад олоорой. Which mean when it's dark харанхуу байна. Emotionally or professionally or financially or maritally or whatever. Okay, so rejoice in the Lord, I say again, rejoice. Then, then verse 8. Finally, brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. Oh. Verse 9. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Practice these things. And the God of peace will be with you. In other words, 
value these things. Итгэр зүйлсийг эрхмэл гэж. And here you have a whole list. Бүр жагсаалт явж шүү дээ. Үнэлээ гэж. For next cell group meeting you can have a look at every one of them. What does that mean? Тэгэхээр та нар дараагийн бүлгийн уулзсан дээр энэ жагсаалтыг хараад нэг нэгээр нь энэ одоо яг юу гэсэн үг болох дээр ярилцаж болно. You have the list. Одоо бүр жагсаалт байна тий. Whatever is true. Үнэн гэж юу юм? Whatever is noble. А хүндлүүштэй юм юу вэ? Whatever is just. Чин шудрах юм гэж юу вэ? Whatever is pure clean. Цэвэр ариун юм гэж юу вэ? Whatever is lovely. Хайрлуштай юм гэж юу вэ? Whatever is of good report. Бүр одоо хилмээр сайн зүйлс гэж юу вэ? Сайн мэдээ гэж юу вэ? Meditate on these things. Think about it. Тэр тунгаа бод maintain it. Тэгээ хадгал сах. If you do that, the God of peace will be with you. Хэрвээ ингэж чадах юм бол Амар тавины бурхан та нартай хамт байна гэж байна. So he will help you to maintain. Бурхан та нарт хадгалж сахихад ч тусах болно. We have to fight. Та нар үүний төлөө ингээд баанг peace will be there. Тэмцдэх хэрэггүй. Амар тавин тэнд байх болно. Amen. That's a value. Тэгэхээр энэ бол үнэт зүйлс юм. You must value what God values. Бурхны үнэлдгийг та үнэл. So in the weeks to come God can show you more things. Бурхан танд эрх өдрүүдэд улам их зүйлийг харуулна. And it can be different from person to person. Хүн нэг бүр дээр өөр байх болно. For me could be a certain thing value that Philip. Тэгээ миний хувьдтай өөр байх болно бурхан тэ Филиппе чи энийг үнэхээр үнэлэх хэрэгтэй байна гэж. In another season he might focus on something else. Тэгсэн тэ дараа нэг уйлрал орж ирэхэд одоо энэ нь дээр илүү одоо анхаар ачаа гэж бидний анхаарлыг татдах болно. Could be value your church. Магадгүй тэр нь сүмээ эрхмэл гэсэн одоо тэр. Value one another. Би бинээ эрхмэл байж болно шүү. Can I get amen on that one? Amen байж болох уу тэрнэ. Very one another. Би бинийгээ эрхмэл. Because we are all walking with him. Бид нар бүгд түнтэй алхаж байгаа. We have ups, we have downs. Итэж тэш доош явсан л. Sometimes God is burning things. Заримдаа бурхан бидний дотор юм шатааж исэн баг. Sometimes he does not because we don't want the fire. Заримдаа тэр шатаадгүй байсан баг ягаад ийм бид нар гал хүсгүй ингэ орлоод исэн учраас. So our personality can create problems. Тэгэл бид нарын зан чанар нь асуудал үүсгэж ирсэн баг. Keep valuing each other. Үргэлжлүүлэн би бинээ эрхмэлсээр бай. God values the person you don't like. Учир нь бурхны бурхан танд таалагддаггүй нэгнийг эрхмэлдэг юм шүү. I don't like him. I bit never liked him. From the very beginning of the church, I've never liked him. Sumi, sum doctor, turko sal torgu ay sal. It's okay. So where? But maybe if you begin to value that person, then you will maybe begin to like him. Ихте та тэр хүнийг эрхэмлэж эхэлэх юм бол магадгүй та таалж эхлэх юм билүү. Я. Value your neighbors. Хажуу хөршөө бас эрхмэл. Ох, they have a dog barking. Нохо хөстө ядраа штэ. I hate that dog. Алаа ачихсан нохо. I hate these neighbors. Тэнийг хөршөө тгэл. Who gives you the right to hate a person? Тэгэхээр бид нарт хин энийг үзэн ядах хэрэг их юм гэсэн. Maybe begin to value them. Зүгээр үнцэн нөгөө дэлхэч тэ. Or colleague, oh she irritates me. А манай ажлын газрын хүүхэн байт юм аа. Just the way she looks. I had enough for the whole day. Хараал бүтэн өдрийн турш би дургуу үрж байгаа ч. But then begin to say God help me to value people around me. Болж олж хэлж олж бурхан минэ би иргэн тойронд байгаа хүмүүсээ өөрөөр харахад минь туслаач. I remember my parents always told us. Би манай ээж аав дандаа ингэж хэлдэг байсан. Because you know we we are born in the church. Бид нар ч сүм дотор л баргал унлаа шүү дээ төрсөө. We knew everybody. Тэгэл сүм дотор төрсөө юм чи хамаг амтын мэднэ. Sometimes our parents were not very wise. Зарим да манай ээж аав энэ нэгт юм ухаалаг байгаагүй л дээ. At home they spoke about people. Тэгээ нэг гэрт гэртээ яах та нэг хүмүүсийн тухай ярддаг байсан. Never do that. Эпти тэгэрэ. Because children hear everything. Хүүхдүүд ч нэг амар том ч ихтэй сонсож байгаа. We were eating but we heard everything. Тэгээ бид нэр хоол идэж байгаа мөртөө ээж аав хоёрынхоо нэг хүмүүсийн талаар ярьж байгааг сонсоодохгүй юу? We knew people. Тэг юм учраас хүмүүсийг мэдээ штэ нөгөө яренаас. And their craziness. Тэд тэд нэр ямар балаа галзуу байсныг мэдээж. Your parents always said you don't know their life. Тэгээд эцэг хэмэн дандаа ингэж хэлдэг байсан гинэ чи тэд нэр амьдралыг мэдэхгүй. You don't know what they go through. Тэд нэр юу туусныг мэдэхгүй. You don't know how they were raised, what kind of home they were raised in. Тэд нэр ямар гэчин одоо орон гэр барьж байгуулсныг мэдэхгүй. So value them. Тийм болохоор үнэл. Тэгэл болоо. It was not easy because we knew stories. Тэгэхээр энэ айгүй бидэнд хэцүү байсан. Яг л нөгөө ээж авахаа яринаас чинь аяа юм сонссон гэсэн. Тэгэхээр 
Гэхдээ аав айж нь дандаа тэгж ирдэг байсан гинэ хэдийгээр ярддаг байсан ч гэсэн. You don't know their life. Чи тэр хүмүүсийн амьдралыг мэдэхгүй шүү дээ. You have no right to have an opinion about them. Тийм болохоор чи тэдний эсрэг ямар ч юу бодол санаа агуулах гэж байгаа. Тэгээ right. аав айж маань зүг байлаа. Because now we are pastors. Одоо би ч нь бид нар пастор болчихсон. And we know people. Тэгээ бид нар хүмүүсийг мэдэж байна. We know a lot about them. Маш их зүйлийг мэдэж байна. It's okay we carry that that's all. Тэгээ яг хөө. Assignment. Бидний бидэн төгсөн бурхнаас гэсэн даалгавар учраас бид нэг энийг аваад явж шээ цаашаа. Тэгм учраас би одоо ойлгож байгаа юм. How people grew, the home, they have, the life situations. And there are things that they have to see. If people saw that, they will be more merciful. The hero who must see any kind of harm was this or something like that. Some people have such bad lives. There are some people who are under some pressure. Just being alive is a miracle. So I'm not going to say I'm not going to talk about him or myself. Яаж амьд үлддэг юм бэ? Value everybody, value one another. Тийм болохоор би би нэгэ ер нь хүн бүрийг үн цэнтэй гэж үнэлж байна. Okay? Did you get that? Ойлгосноо тий. The last value I will give you is this. За. Дахиад нэг үг юу? Value destiny companions. Үнэт зүйл маань юу вэ гэхээр хувь тавилангийн хамтрагчд And that's obvious in the book of Daniel. За энэ Даниил номон дээр бол маш тодорхой. These four young men. Дөрөн залуу. Whoa. They were a good team. Үнэхээр сайн баг байсан да. And they were not always together. Тэд нар үргэлж дандаа хамт байгаагүй. The fire story for example. Жишээлбэл тэр нэг галын гал 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 болсон шүү дээ. Daniel was not in the fire. Галтай зуухны үйл явдал дээр бол Даниил байгаагүй. The three were in. Харин гурав орсон тийшээ зуухан таагцсан гурав нь With the lions, Daniel was alone. With the lions. Харин арсантай нөхрөө хайхад бол нөгөө гурав байгаагүй Даниел ганцаараа байсан. But even separated, they were still strong. Тэгтээ тэд нар тус тустай байхдаа ч хүчтэй байсан баг. And they valued each other. Би бинийг эрхмэлдэг байсан. So one thing is to value everybody in the in the church. За, сүм дотроогоо хүн нэг бүрийг эрхмэлэх нэг асуудал. But especially А тэгвэл ялангуяа value those who are really moving forward. бүр үнэхээр урагшаага тэмүүлж алхаж байгаа нэг нэг эрхэмлэн гэдэг бол өөр асуу. I am not saying. Би бол ингэж хэлээгүй шүү. Then the church there was a business class and economic class. Okay. Сүм дотор бол бизнес класс гэж байгаа, экономик класс гэж байгаа гэж хэлээгүй шүү. But in every church is the same. Бүгсэн яг адилхан шүү дээ. Some are moving forward. They are foreigners. Ямар ч сүм тэнгэж одоо манлайлагч гэж байдаг л ахгүй юу. And we need them. Тим нанлайлагч нар хэрэгтэй бидэнд. And I thought everybody should be a foreigner. Би бодохдоо бүгдэл манлайлж одоо төрүүлж гүйгч нар байх хэвээр гэж бодсон. But I had to change my mind because not everybody is a foreigner. Бодлоо өөрчлөх ёстой бас яг л тэр боломжгүй юм байна. But we need foreigners. Харин бид нарт бидэнд зам тавиад гүйдэг төрүүлж гүйгч хэрэгтэй. And we have to value them. Харин тэднийгээ бид нар эрхэмлэх хэвээр. Because they take the pressure first. Учир нь тэр хүмүүс ч хамаг дарамтыг эхэлж үрдэг. They are the ones the devil will try to shoot first. Тэд нарыг л дьявол буудаж унхаах их хүсдэг. So we have to value foreigners. Тэм учраас бид нар урд гүйж байгаа нэг нэгээ үнэлэх хэвээр. If you are not a foreigner, be happy for the foreigners. Хэрэв та төрүүлэн гүйхч бол тийм байгаад баяртай бай. Maybe in the course of time everybody should become one. Магадгүй хэсэг хугацаа өнгөрсний дараа баг бүгдээр одоо төрүүлэн гүйхч болох бах. But at a certain moment of time not everybody is a foreigner. Гэхдээ ямар ч байсан тим цаг байдаг. Заавал хин нэг нь урд нь гүйх хэвээр. When my leads in worship follow her. Маа жишээлбэл магтаала өдөрж явахад бид нар дагдаг. Value her because she's going тэгээ. Тэгээ түүнийг эрхмэл яад бол тэр чинь нэг юм ингээд зад сэтлээд яваад байгаа хөөхгүй. Maybe another is go, is a foreigner on another field. Тэгээ өөр одоо нийгмийн салбар дээр нэг нь төрүүлээд ингээд зам тавьж байгаа. Value people like that. Ийм хүмүүсийг эрхмэл because ягаад гэвэл they are at risk. Тэд нар үнэхээр рискийг өөрсдөд дээр авч байгаа хөөхгүй. Bible says if you kill the shepherd or the sheep spray. Библ хэлэхдээ хончны нь аль бүх хонь ботор харж ботрна гэсэн баа. If you kill the foreigner then people will Тэм учраас та түрүүнд гүйж байгаа нэг нэг нь буудаад нгаач юм бол яг хав арт гүйж байгаа хүмүүс учир олох юм шүү. There are several hundreds of people following me. Хитэн зуун хүн одоо хитэн хэсэг зуун хүн намайг дагаж байна. So people are praying for me because I'm a foreigner. Тэ би урд нь гүйж явж байгаа учраас хүмүүс миний төлөө залбирдаг. If I'm taken out, here I'm not going to catch him. That's serious. No, he didn't. He's such a hunch. I'm not in indispensable. People that are team at the you didn't. 
God can raise another one. But it will take time to raise another one. And bring that person on my road. Foreigners are very important. People going before you. Yeah, you need to protect them. David said, I will kill him. Goliath. The other brother. Why? David was a foreigner. He killed one. But when he had killed that one, the whole army rose. And they killed the rest. So he was a foreigner. Without him, they will still be there. <laughs> Saul will still be there in the army <laughs> doing nothing. But David risked something. So why attack the forerunner? If you attack the forerunner, you harm yourself. But they were jealous at him. What do you think you are? Thank you for the food. Go home. But he was a foreigner. Sometimes foreigners are attacked under high pressure. Protect them in your prayers. And follow them. Because one day you might become a foreigner. And then you will realize, whoa, if I had known that before, I might have been nicer to him. Because the weight is on me, the responsibility is on me. Amen. Are you with me? So value destiny companions. We have to value everybody, but especially the foreigners. People with the same intensity, the same pursuit of things. This is what they did. Four young men standing together, shining in Babylon, maintaining the values together, growing the values together. Let me give you the title of the next two points, but I will not speak about them. Jeremiah 29. So we had shine in Babylon, we had Babylon. maintain and grow in Babylon. Babylon Girsti, Babylon Bara Bukna Sahi, Hatrasi Hamrasi, building houses, planting gardens. Basham Barit, Tirtik Tari. Verse 6. Take wives and have sons and daughters. That means multiply in Babylon. Multiply. Let your life reproduce itself. But in order to multiply, you first have to shine. Because if you are not shining, why should God multiply you? <laughs> but if you are shining the kingdom, God will think, I want more like you. I want more families like this family. So we have to shine. Then we have to maintain. Because if we multiply and don't know how to maintain, whoa, man. That's why some churches, they grow big, many numbers. But then things decrease in the church. They become more, but there is less in the church. Less revelation, less quality, less breakthrough power, less intensity. Uh -huh. But when God sees that we are shining, He sees we are building, maintaining, consolidating. God 
I want more like that. Girt jagi man harat, sekej hamraj, batjo jagi man harat. Oh, be at any gosrot na. I will give him sons and daughters. Who would act like that? No. And he will become the example for them. Тэгээд чи тэднийхээ үлэрчшэн байх болно. Amen. Paul was shining, Paul was maintaining. Paul гэрэлтэж байсан, сахиж байсан. God gave him Timothy. And he said to Timothy, everything you learn from me, go for it. Timothy Paul хэлжээсэн шэдээ, надаа сурсан бүхнийгээ, бүхнийхээ төлөө яваара гэж. Everything you heard, everything you've seen. Надаа сонсан, надаа сарсан бүхнийгээ. Implement that. Ерүсэл ажил хэрэг болог. Амдэртээр хэрэгжүүл гэж хэсэн бага. That's why we are careful with the multiplication. Тэгэхээр үржин ашрах дээр бид нэр болгамжтай хэстэй юм шүү. Юу гаан үржүүл гэд бэн бэн. So you know if if cells in your body multiply out of order, you have cancer. Хэр таны би дотрох эсүүд чин хит ашроод ихлүүл хавдартай болно. So we don't want just multiplication. Depends what is multiplying. Тэгэхээр юу гаан өсгөн үржүүлэн ашрах вэ гэдгээс хамаарах байхгүй юу? God had to stop multiplication in the days of Noah because evil was multiplying. Then the last one, verse 7, Seek the welfare of the city where I have sent you into exile. Which means influence Babylon. Let it come peace in the city. Welfare. Better situation for you and better. Ulan battery nuktuz baytlin sajrik. Better situation at work. Ajlin gatrima nuktuz baytl sajrik. Better situation at school. Sorgodi nuktuz baytl sajrik. We heard the testimony. The whole atmosphere in the class changed. This is what God is, is going for. Because God loves the world. For so God loved the world that he gave his only son. So God loved Babylon. God hates idol worship. But God loved the Babylonians. So he said to them, shine, maintain and grow, multiply, then I will give you influence. Seek me, come to me. I have plans for you. I have plans for you for future and hope. So come and talk with me about the city. Talk with me about your work. Talk with me about your neighbors. Talk with me. I will tell you, I will lead you. You will influence people. You will draw them to the Father. Amen. Amen. So shine in Babylon. Maintain and grow in Babylon. Multiply in Babylon. Influence in Babylon. This is what God said to them. So no reason to dream about Jerusalem. Just do the work here. And then he said, after 70 years, I'll take you home. Back to Jerusalem. Wonderful. What a plan. Genius. God is a genius. He deserved the Nobel Prize. Every year the next 2,000 years. So he said, after 70 years, you will just come back. And they did come back. Come back. And then they were blessing in Jerusalem. We can be a blessing everywhere we go. In the supermarket, at school, at job. On holiday, when you go to a holiday, you can still be a blessing. And then you come home for holiday. Back to work. But you can still be a blessing at work. Even holidays have an end. We are going on holiday in two weeks. Because we need a holiday. But then we go back home. 
God is with us on holiday. We will shine. Shine, Philip, shine. <laughs> and then we go home back to Denmark and shine. <laughs> Wonderful. Have you heard something? Jeremiah 29, Daniel, Daniel, and when you come to Daniel 9, Daniel, Daniel reads Jeremiah, Daniel, and suddenly he sees 70 years. Oh, yes. yes, let's go home. But for 70 years, they could shine. They could maintain, they could multiply, they could increase. I think that's the word for us and for Christians. We have approximately 70 years here on earth. I hope we have more. <laughs> because I'm, I'm 69. <laughs> So I'm really old, there is more. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think it's good to have more. I think it's Let's build houses together. Let's plant some gardens together. And eat the fruit of the garden. Let's multiply. In heaven you cannot multiply. It's too late. <laughs> there is already a lot of people up there. <laughs> Moses is there. Abraham is there. Deborah is there. They're all there. Mary and Joseph. And oh my. You see we have to multiply. God has to shape your life and then reproduce. Jerusalem, 3,000 in a few hours. 3,000 new believers. Ah, Jerusalem. Jerusalem. At Pentecost. Ah, yeah, not, not the Babylon. <laughs> <laughs> not Daniel. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let's stand to our feet. And I hope you have heard. And, uh, I think it's enough for now. And I'm sure God will continue to speak. I'm in a way, I'm a door opener. Right. Jonathan David also is open some doors and then we walk in and find out what is going on. Because God will continue to speak to you. You are not depending on me. You are not depending on pastors. You must be responsible for your own life. Your own life. We can help you with that. But there must be something to help. <laughs> There must be something there. There must be some substance we can help. So I want to water a plant, there must be a plant first. So work well with him. Work well with the house. Let the markers be formed. Remember the values. Maintain them, grow them. Then I tell you, God will multiply you. There is no doubt. But if we don't do the first two things, multiplication is will not come. Father, we thank you for this wonderful plan. Shine. Maintain and grow. Then you will multiply us. And we will have influence on the nation. 
энэ үндэс нь нөлөөлөх Thank you for speaking to us. Та бид нь лөө ярьж байгаа талархаж байна. Thank you for speaking with us. Та биднтэй ярьж байгаа байна. Thank you for your fire. Таны галын төлөө байна. The fire of the Holy Spirit. Ариун сүнсний галын төлөө. Removing, removing things, burning things up. Юмсыг биднээс шатааж зайлуулдаг ариун сүнсний галын төлөө баярлала. You are such a good God. Та бол үнэхээр гайхалтай сайн. We love you so much. Jesus, we thank you for everything Jesus, you have done for us. You paid the price to make this possible. You paid the price to give us access to all that. And we want so much. We want so much to be changed into your likeness. So much. Because you, you shine everywhere you went. Oh, you influence you. Oh. Father, change us in the likeness of your son. By the work of your word and your spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. For strengthening us. For resourcing us. For burning wrong things in our lives. Thank you for guiding us. Thank you for opening the word for us. So it's not, all, not only knowledge and, and information in our brain, but, but it becomes revelation in the spirit, in the heart. Father, I pray for the church here. And I also pray for a healthy soul. So, so not only they have a strong spirit, strong intensity in the spirit, but that strength will invade the soul and heal the soul. And reconstruct the soul. Develop the soul. So there is a healthy soul life. Amen. Amen. Amen.